Hey everyone, I'm Allison and today I'm taking over the video that we're posting this week. I kind of wanted to show you guys some healthy bedtime type habits. This I guess can be considered a bedtime routine, but I kind of want to give you tips about how you can stay healthy for bedtime and make sure you're in a right mood to go to bed. And I think if you go to bed every night doing healthy habits, then I feel like you'll wake up better and you'll feel better. If you're interested in learning these habits, go ahead and keep on watching. So I don't know about you guys, but when I get home, I am extremely hungry and I already had had dinner. So that means I had dinner early and when it comes toward bedtime, of course I'm craving something sweet. So this is kind of something that I eat when I'm hungry and I want something sweet. Now what I do is carve these apples into slices and note to self, I wish I had an apple cutter because it would make coring the apples so easy. But I cut it into slices, I core the middle, and then I spread a generous amount of peanut butter on it. The peanut butter makes me feel full and the apple kind of satisfies that crunch that I really want. And then I put chocolate chips on top to kind of satisfy that sweetness that I've been looking for this whole entire time. I also use this walnut mix if I'm feeling like I need a little extra fiber or something to keep me full and I can sprinkle that on as well and it's a great replacement if you don't want to do those chocolate chips right before bedtime. Now because it's flip flop season my feet have been the worst shape they've possibly been ever especially because I just walked like 10 miles the other day touring around Washington DC so my feet are not good. I take a quick bath and then when I get out, I just take some coconut oil and rub that on all my dry spots. So that includes my heels and then the side of my toes. Once they are all dried, I put my coconut oiled feet inside these socks and I leave them on the rest of the day and I take them off right before bedtime and my feet are always extremely soft. And I swear my son thinks that my socks are a monster. Speaking of my son, I need to put him to bed so we say goodnight and then I begin my face washing routine. Now you can either use a mask or a scrub but I like to do something several times a week to kind of keep my skin healthy. I'm just taking this face soap and I'm washing my face so I can get all the makeup off from that day. If you'd like to skin see a detailed skincare routine, definitely let me know. Here I'm just applying that face mask that I told you guys about. It smells exactly like yogurt. Now I wouldn't eat it because I don't think it tastes like yogurt. It sinks right into my pores and makes my skin feel really soft after. Then after 10 or 15 minutes, I rinse it all off in cold water. And I put a little lotion on my skin to keep it from drying. This is my favorite. It's really light and it doesn't cause any acne. I feel like lips get ignored a lot, so I'm taking this lip scrub and putting them all over. The summer heat really dries them out and any little help they can get I definitely am all into. Lastly, I'll take this lip butter and I'll apply them straight on there. Don't mind my bad skin, I'm working on that. Now it's time to hop into bed and I always have water by my side because it's good to drink a lot of water and it's suggested that you don't play with your phone or any electronic right before bedtime. So I definitely plug that in and I leave it away from me before I go to sleep. And then I hop into bed and I close my eyes and I drift away. Just kidding, it takes like an hour to go to sleep. Anybody else have that problem? That took a long time to focus, camera. Shame on you. But those are my healthy habits. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give a thumbs up if you like these type of things because I love to film them and I would like to do another one for you guys. Also, if you would like to see a skincare routine, definitely go ahead and let me know below in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and I will talk to you in our next video. Bye, everyone.